And my name is Tom Cronin. I'm a meditation teacher and founder of The Stillness Project. And I'm delighted to be here today to share with you a series of meditations that you can implement on a daily basis into your life. And the reason I'm so excited about this is because meditation had a huge effect on my life. Many years ago, I was a broker in finance of all things on a big trading room floor full of guys yelling and screaming. And by nighttime, we would be out doing lots of crazy things with our clients. And this started to lead to a series of um, stress responses in my body. I started to experience lots of anxiety and panic attacks and eventually a depression to the point where I couldn't even go to work anymore. I experienced what's called agoraphobia. It was a very dark and challenging time in my life. And from that moment, I started to explore meditation in the mind. I really felt compelled to look into that. And I noticed these huge benefits started to come into my life when I started to embrace daily meditation. The anxiety went away, the panic attacks went away, the depression went away, and my life improved dramatically. And these are some of the benefits that you'll find when you do embrace meditation on a daily basis. Uh, you'll find that you start having less reactivity to life. We tend to have this emotional charge due to events around us, and we get very disempowered in that by having this immediate response to situations. And what you'll find as a meditator is that you become a lot more empowered about the reactions and choices you make in life. And this is one of the greatest benefits I find with meditation in my students. You also find that you'll sleep better, your mind will be calmer, you'll have more energy because you're not burning up all that fuel with stress. You'll find your digestion's better, your health improves, your relationships improve, and just generally all areas of life will be better because you simply feel better and more calm inside. These are some of the great benefits about meditation and why I really recommend bringing this in on a daily basis. Now you might think of meditation as simply sitting there, closing the eyes and emptying the mind. We're gonna discover that there are so many different types of meditation, but I put meditation into four categories. And the first category is a concentration meditation, where we'll actually bring the mind to a single point. And the mind has 40, 50, 60,000 thoughts every day and the mind's jumping around from thought to thought. There are other concentration meditations like focusing on the third eye or focusing on a candle. What you're doing is using a lot of force and discipline to bring the mind to a single point. Now the mind won't enjoy that, so it's gonna require some effort, but that's a great practice. It's like going to the gym and lifting a dumbbell. It's about exercising a muscle and training to have more authority over the nature of your mind. Another meditation style is contemplation meditation, where we'll be actually having thoughts in our mind, but we're going to have a little bit of authority over the nature of those thoughts, the content of the thoughts. And it's been uh, studied on the mind and they've found that generally most people have around 60 to 70% of their thoughts in negative territory. And with contemplation meditation, we're going to guide the mind into positive territory. And there's a saying, where the attention goes, it grows. By putting the attention on positive territory, you'll tend to find that you'll attract positive outcomes in your life. A couple of other meditation styles are chanting meditation, where you'll be chanting potentially in a group out loud. And there's deep transcending meditations where you're using uh, particular mantras that take the mind beyond the thought process. Fitting meditation into your day can be quite a challenge, as it was for me. I'm sure you, like me, like everyone else, we're quite busy, and we're filling up our day with lots of activity. And that's where I discovered my 72-20 method. And so what I realized was that my day was filled with 72 20-minute pieces of pie. And so I decided that I would take just two or one of those pieces of pie out and put it aside to meditate, to find some stillness, to find some quiet, to improve my mind. And I found that the other 71 or 70 pieces of pie started to improve as a result of just taking one little slither out. And so it doesn't even have to be 20 minutes. A meditation can be different for everyone. It can be simply walking to work and noticing as your feet hit the pavement, being mindful of that process, or swimming laps in the pool. It could be while you're waiting to pick up your children from school as you sit in your car. You could take some time out to bring awareness to your breath to have gratitude, to bring your attention to your heart space. So many different ways for us to incorporate meditation into our life. And when we do, we'll find that so much starts to change. We'll feel lighter, we'll feel happier, we'll sleep better. Our relationships will improve. Every area of our life starts to improve by simply taking out small slithers of time in our day. 
to put it into enhancing our inner state rather than trying to get our outer state to start to change for us. So this is what it's all about, changing our inner state and what we find when that starts to happen, our outer state will start to change anyway. It's a much more simple process to do it that way than trying to change the outer world. So fitting meditation into your life can be quite a challenge, but taking aside just a slither of time, putting it aside to meditate, will have a profound effect on your life. There'll be so many benefits that will improve your life.